Today we're talking about my first impressions with the Wahoo Kicker. Now I must uh, preface that I've been uh, using trainers and rollers for the past about 10 years. Um, I started with a smart trainer about five years ago with a borrowed Compi trainer, and then shortly after there, uh, purchased uh, a Cyclops Power Beam Pro. I was with that for about four years, and then within the last uh, month and a half, I uh, purchased a Wago Kicker. So here are my first impressions. For me, big difference in using the Wago Kicker, likely because it's a direct drive, meaning that the bike is attached um, to the trainer itself uh, with the rear wheel removed um, and the bike's rear dropout sits on a platform um, that has an attached cassette. This is definitely different than the Power Beam Pro and the Compu Trainer where it's a wheel on type trainer. Now for me, um, one of the big things that I really like with my training is the smoothness and the transitions between different um, uh, power levels. Say I'm riding at about 200 watts and then I need to bump up with intervals to 250 or 300 watts or even more. Uh, the transition is very smooth. Um, I don't feel like there's a lot of hiccups or a lot of uh, variable into the pedal smoothness or the pedal stroke itself. And again, this is likely due to the fact that it is uh, not a wheel-on trainer. A lot of different variables with a wheel-on trainer uh, with tire pressure, tire temperature, um, how tight you have uh, the rear roller pushing up against the tire itself. So there's a lot of different variables that can influence the feel of a wheel-on trainer. One of the things I had to get used to with uh, the Wahoo Kicker is the fact that um, communication with the Wahoo app is Bluetooth. Now in the past I've used um, uh, PowerBeam Pro and I was using Cyclops Power Agent uh, to create workouts and then download it to my uh, Joule GPS and therefore I can run ergo mode on preset workouts. Now, uh, with the Wahoo Kicker, um, you can't do that. You need a third-party application such as Trainer Road um, to create these preset workouts. Since it's uh, still winter season for me and I'm still um, in my early stages of training with uh, more simple intervals and longer intervals, uh, the watered down or the basic version uh, Wahoo Kicker app does work for me at this time. Um, I have to personally uh, manually change the resistance um, and then I can hit lap so it's not necessarily a preset workout where I um, have say a, a 40 minute workout with 5 minutes of this interval, 10 minutes of this interval, press play and it automatically adjusts. For me I have to set the resistance at any given time that I need. Um, again, since it's winter season, I'm not adjusting um, quickly between different intervals, doing say one minute interval hard or 15 second spin ups. Um, the Wahoo Kicker app does work for me at this time. So if you're purchasing a Wahoo Kicker um, and want to just get started with the basics, uh, it can stand alone with the Wahoo Kicker app. But if you're looking for more intense training, uh, more structured training, um, I do recommend uh, purchasing Trainer Road so you can have workouts mapped out. They have a lot of creative preset workouts already uh, on the website that you can download and press play and go. So I look forward to uh, creating some simple workouts and easy workouts mapped out um, on the trainer itself. I'll have uh, in my training section, a bunch of different uh, workouts for you to do.
Obviously you can do it indoors or do it outdoors with a power meter so that you can uh, maintain, self-maintain a certain wattage. So stay tuned, subscribe for uh, training workouts. Thanks. This is K-Squared Cycling. Keep the grams down and the watts up.